Okay, a sample of nitrogen gas has N molecules at room temperature in Kelvin T. If Na is the Avogadro number and R is the molar gas constant, uh, what is the internal energy of the gas? Okay, good. So uh, we have here we have nitrogen gas. Uh, nitrogen is a diatomic gas. Uh, that's the first thing you must know. Diatomic gas. Uh? Uh, N molecules. This is the total molecules. Yeah, the total molecules. And room temperature uh, Kelvin. Yeah, is already in SI unit. Temperature T. And A is Avogadro number. R is the molar gas constant. What's the internal energy of gas? So the question asks for internal energy of gas. Uh, first of all, uh, okay, we're going to find internal energy. Okay, going to find internal energy of the gas. Uh, that means uh, this the we the gas means all molecules. Uh, all we're going to use all molecules. This is energy of all molecules, not just one molecule. Uh, all many 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 molecules. So it has how many molecules? Is there are there n molecules? Uh, so we have n total of n molecules. Okay. So we are going to find internal energy. Okay, of the gas of the whole gas. So uh, we start with we start with this concept. Huh? We start with this concept. Okay, we start with this concept. Uh, one molecule, uh, one degree of freedom has energy half kT. Okay, half kT. So for one degree freedom of one molecule has energy, kinetic energy half kT. Uh, so we start from there. Okay, half kT of energy for one degree freedom and uh, one molecule. So we have to multiply by how many molecules? Uh, we have to multiply by uh, n. So we have the we have the gas, isn't it? The whole gas. That means many many molecules. Uh, so we're going to multiply by n molecules. And how many degree of freedom? How many degree of freedom? Uh, is a nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is a diatomic gas. Uh, diatomic gas. So the F is equal to five. Understand? Uh, maybe you just write as a uh, five F first. F uh, degree. Okay, F degree freedom. So uh, we write as this formula first. Yeah. Okay. So our final form general formula for internal energy of gas is that's why it's become F over two uh, N K T N F F over two N K T. Okay. Uh, but our degree of freedom is only 5, so we put as 5. Uh, 5 over 2 and kT. Ah, okay, so do we have this answer? No, we don't have this answer, right? We don't have k, you only have r. So we need to change out this r. Uh, we, have, we have to change out this k into r. Uh, still remember the formula? R is K and A. Ah, you miss out this formula. R is K and A. Ah, you know, this K. Uh, yeah. So for this one, you, you miss out the formula. R is actually K and A. Ah, so what is K? K is uh, R over and A. Okay. <laughs> this is the golden rule. Huh? Uh, many many students uh, don't know about this. Uh, R is K and A. Yeah? So we change out the K become R over N A. Uh, so what, what formula it becomes? Let's uh, find out. Uh, let's find out. So it becomes uh, this formula. It becomes, it becomes uh, 5 over 2. Uh, and um, multiply this k become r over n a uh, okay and so um, the formula becomes um, okay the formula becomes uh, 5 n r t 5 n r t over 2 n a ah that's the answer Okay, uh, that's the answer. So, do we have the answer? We have the answer. 5 R N R T over 2 N A. 
Yeah, that's the answer. 5 NRT over 2 NA. Ah, just this one. This is the key. Okay, R is R is K and A. Ah, can we change to K and A? Yeah. Ah, so that's the answer. Okay. Why? Why? Maybe you some somebody asking me, why is it R equal to K and A? Ah, this one you refer to my lecture video. I already explained about this. Why is it R equal to K and A? Okay. Uh, refer to my lecture video. I got explained there about this one. Okay. So that's all for this question.